Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll talk about area. What do we understand by area? Okay, I have a space given, a rectangular space. And let's say here, one, two, three, four. This is four centimeter. And over here is one, two, three centimeter. And this is a rectangle. What would be the area of this rectangular shape? Most of you will be able to say that area of this particular shape is 4 centimeter times 3 centimeter. That's going to be 4 threes are 12 centimeter centimeter square centimeter. Pretty good. You're absolutely right. Okay. And you have learned this in your school that area of a rectangle is length times breadth. Sometimes, most of the time, it's written length into breadth like that. Okay. Area of a rectangle. Fine. That's fine. But what is area? By definition, area is area of a region, this region, okay, is the space this shape occupies, the space, this shaded space, okay, occupied this uh, rectangular shape. So this space is belongs to this shape and this is the area of this shape. Now how are we going to count that? How are we going to measure this area? We know this length into breadth, but where this formula comes from? Uh, we, we want to go back to the uh, measurement, unit measurement of linear distance. See this scale, I have this side, it says centimeter. I hope you can see that. It's centimeter, one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter. And this side I have inch, one inch, two inch, three inch. There were so many uh, mathematicians and uh, scientists, they um, uh, think that if we have any length up to here, okay, this particular space over here, we're gonna call that one centimeter. And everybody accepted that. Therefore, if you say this whole length is one centimeter, that, that's according to you, but nobody will accept that because accepted unit for one centimeter is this much, okay? Now, on the other side, if we are going for inch, inch is going to be this big, okay? And that's also accepted. Everybody accepted that, okay, this length is gonna be inch one inch now you can clearly see that both of this distance okay this is space uh, this linear space this linear space cover by one centimeter for this one and this is one cent one inch okay this is linear distance and one dimension or one way okay one dimension okay one dimension is the linear distance linear distance but this one over here is two per dimension length and breadth so what happened scientists again they come up with a brilliant idea that let's take a square one horizontally one unit or let's say we are measuring with centimeter one centimeter and then uh, vertically one centimeter and make a polygon just enclose the space okay so all the way it's one centimeter one centimeter one centimeter one centimeter and they agree that this space we're gonna call it the area of this space we're gonna call it one centimeter into one centimeter equal to one square centimeter so that is that is or that this is the unit of measuring area or two-dimensional space so coming back to this one, four centimeter by three centimeter. So what they did, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna redraw redraw this one. Okay, so it's three, one, two, three, and this side is four. So four. Okay. So we're gonna fill up this one with this shape. And how many times this shape fills up this given rectangular? Let's say this is one square centimeter, one square centimeter, one square centimeter, one square centimeter. So all of them are, each of them, one square centimeter. So the area of this particular rectangle, rectangle equals to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. It's 12 square centimeter because this one, this shape fits 12 times in this particular shape, rectangular shape. Okay. So this is the reference area uh, comparing with this one we figured out what the area of this particular 
rectangle okay so we, we established it's 12 square centimeter okay now why do we multiply okay see this side is uh, 4 and this side is 3 uh, 4 centimeter and 3 centimeter this is our length horizontal weight that's length and this is our breadth okay but why we're multiplying okay the first time I added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 12. I can, I, I can do it again. Okay. This is 1 plus 1 plus 1. It's going to be tiresome, but let's do that. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus over here. 1 plus 1. Oops, sorry. Plus 1 plus 1. Then another 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Okay. This 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. That's 4. Plus this is 4. Plus this is 4. So all together 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. But hopefully you, uh, I hope that you know multiplication is easier way to do the addition. Instead of doing this, I, I can show you two different ways right here. See that how many times I have 1? One? 1 I have 12 times. So 1 times 12 is 12. I don't need to count all of them. And over here how many times I have 4? So 4 I have 3 times. That's our 12s. So instead of adding all the 1s, I can do either way I want. Okay, this way or that way. Or I can take this one, this uh, horizontal length, it's 4 unit, and this side is 3 units, or 4 centimeter and 3 centimeter. According to this law, we can just do this one. Rectangle equal to 4 centimeter times 3 centimeter that's going to be 4 times 3 is 12 centimeter centimeter is square centimeter okay this this is the rule of indices you know that a times a is going to be a square the power of a is here one over here is one and when we multiply with the same base we add their power same thing centimeter centimeter they have power one power one we just add them okay this is 12 square centimeter now generate the formula if I have anything, another one like that, it's like this, okay. And this is says three centimeter, and this is says two centimeter. I don't need to do this over and over again. We just we just establish the formula, okay. Let me let me actually write down the formula. This one was length, okay. This four was length, so that's length, and this one was the breadth, so this is breadth. So area equal to length into breadth. So that's the formula we generate. So this one, instead of counting all of them, we just do three times two is six centimeter and centimeter. That's gonna give me square centimeter. That's that, okay? This is our area, idea of area, how we measure it, why we measure it, and how to generate the area of a rectangle, okay? Next time, I'm gonna talk about irregular areas. Thank you, have a good night.